Hello Virgo and welcome to your bonus reading. Thank you so much for joining me again in this virtual space. It's always an honor for me to bring messages for Virgos. You know how much I love you guys. So yeah, we're looking at the energies for November. In the bonus reading, I never know what's coming now. We're not focusing on one specific area of your life. So let's start. Make sure to like the video, my loves. This is the best way to show your love and support and the best way that we can expand the Virgo family on the channel. So what do we have here for you in November? A new start is coming. Fast moving energy, okay? So in November, you might be relocating, uh, finally meeting someone that you've been waiting to meet starting a new relationship, starting a new job. There's this new thing. Um, Virgo, you always have something cooking. This is the thing I love about Virgo. And I feel like people don't say how much Virgo is mysterious. You always have something cooking. Um, and I feel like it's always really personal to you. And then you come out with this thing like, hey, this is a new start for me. And you're inspiring people around you, definitely. So I think that you might know what this new start is. I don't feel like it's that much of a surprise, but I do feel like it's a fast energy, okay? Let's pick a major arcana. I'm, I'm feeling super curious about this new start. I don't know why. New moon is about releasing. So this new start, it includes something ending, okay? And we are in Scorpio season, so think about the debt card. Think about something ending, a transformation time. You're leaving something behind. See, ver the your card, the hermit, wanted to come out. So... Hermit is an energy, people think it's a slow energy, it's really not. Again, there's this mystery, You're, something's happening. And again, something's cooking. I have this feeling of something really mysterious that you're working on. You've been putting a lot of energy towards something and now the change is finally going to happen. I'm, I'm feeling that the energy right now might be a little bit uncomfortable. You might feel it in my voice right now. I'm kind of like searching for my words, looking for my words, okay? That to me, as an intuitive, it tells me that you're a little lost right now. There's too many things to deal with. It feels overwhelming. I'm feeling pretty overwhelmed right now. So I'm, I'm connecting with someone's energy. Um... November is like the start of this thing, but right now in the in-between energy, uh, your energy is is kind of low right now. I feel like someone is like, this thing needs to happen ASAP because I'm losing patience, okay? Let's start with the Hermetic Tarot. This is my personal deck. This is the deck I use for my personal practice. I had a feeling I should be using it for you today, so... Let's start. What is what is this new start? What is this new start? Princess of Pentacles? Okay. So double earth energy to start. Double earth energy to start. So you might be feeling like you're all over the place right now, but you're actually pretty grounded. You're definitely inspiring people around you with some type of move that you're doing. I don't even think you're aware that you're inspiring your friends, family. There's this feeling of you finally accomplished something that it's been in the back of your mind for a while, Virgo. And I do feel like this is the type of thing that your family will be proud of. Maybe in the past you felt like one day I'm going to do this. I'm going to make my mom proud. I know it's really specific, but there's this feeling of proving, quote unquote, to other people how willing you are, how much potential you have. Again, there's this thing of you in the background, mysteriously, like secretly working on something. And now it's like, here it is. Here it is. Yeah, I'm doing this. I don't know exactly what it is. Again, 
I don't know why I'm focused on the mystery of this. Um, it's not that you're keeping a secret. You're just doing your thing and you're not annoying people. <laughs> if you're not asking for help, definitely not asking for help. You're doing your own thing and it's going to be incredibly successful. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Guys, this is, again, Virgo energy. You're about to accomplish something that honestly feel like on the top of your list, on the top of the things that you always wanted to accomplish. Are you buying a house? Are you moving somewhere? Are you getting that job that you've been wanting to? Uh, going back to school, there's something that people will be incredibly proud of you like your close family your partner your friends um enjoying the fruits of your labor again right now you're in that ten of wands energy my love you're exhausted i'm definitely talking to a virgo who like universe hasn't cut you some freaking slack in a while i think you're a little bit exhausted but it feels like you're finally closing a cycle, finally leaving a space of this is too much. I am not meant to be here. I am not supposed to go through all this. I'm releasing that shit and I'm moving on, okay? Ten of Wands feels so good. It's like all the problems, all the things that don't belong to me, I don't, I'm not moving with them. I'm not changing with them. I'm letting them behind. And it feels really good. Um, a nine, a ten. When we are in nine and ten energy in the tarot, it's like we're almost there. We're almost in that new beginning. Again, confirming that there's a lot waiting on your shoulder right now. Like a lot. Um, you know it's going to be worth it. I think, you know, you're intelligent enough to realize that the next step is going to be so freeing, so great. But it's the in-between that feels a little shitty, to be honest. I'm hearing the word necessary. Having to go through some type of challenge to get to where we want to be. The hangman, the three of swords, and the seven of swords. Okay, so with the swords, my love, we are talking about the nervous system. We are talking about how our brain perceives a specific situation. Okay, I know this is going to sound intense, but you know, you're a Virgo, you can take it. Um, right now, you moving out of this era of your life this is literally what i'm connecting with an era of your life is over you're moving on from that going on to better things the brain is exhausted and if you really look at it meditate on it journal on it there is a lot of grief happening for you something is dying that's why i was connecting with the death card earlier not only because we are in Scorpio season, so it's a debt time. Debt is about, you know, something ending. It's not about a physical debt. I think that you're definitely overwhelmed because all the stories of your past, all the stories of I'm not good enough, I'm never going to get this, I don't have what it takes, I don't make enough money, I don't have, a, you know, enough education... All these stories that were with you, and it could be so many other things, it's really personal to you. You're letting that die with the Ten of Wands. You're moving on from that. It's the end of an era, my love. And that's why you're facing so many intense feelings. It's because there's grief attached to that. We're not only grieving physical loss in life, we grieve these intense change. So there's definitely a calling to be nicer to yourself. Let these feelings come in with the hangman in the reverse. I don't remember if it was in a reverse, but it was in the reverse here. So yeah, the wait is over. This uncomfortable transition is about to be over. This is Pisces energy, my love. It's your opposite. It's... it's not at all an energy that you feel comfortable in, but it's in the reverse. 
we're changing, okay? We're finally able to see the light at the end of a tunnel. And it feels so good. Again, there's something important about grief, about letting things die, energy, stories, um, things that you've been attached to for a while. You could be in the same, you could have been in the same situation for literally 10, 15 years, a long, long time. And now this shift, this new era feels like a, a birth, feels like a revert. It's, it's really intense and it's not easy to go through that. So you might be asking yourself, why can't I be happy for all these beautiful things coming in my life? Why am I so focused on the negative aspects? Why am I feeling sadness? Why am I feeling overwhelmed? Why am I feeling grief, literally? That is because you're expanding and it's happening fast. The expansion in your life, the transition is happening really fast. And again, it's time that you give yourself a break. Emotionally, energetically, like ugh, mentally. And I know that you can't just be like, yeah, I'm taking a break because right now things are really happening. But you're going to get that break soon. There's huge freedom coming at you, liberating energy. Um, it's going to feel good. It's going to feel like you can finally breathe again and a lot of things off your shoulders. Starting from zero. Starting from zero. Take this one. Give me two more cards. Oof. Let's take these two here. Okay. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Five of Wands. So there's this roller coaster of energy of I'm exhausted. Uh, maybe you've been fighting a little bit with your partner, with yourself, with someone. It's not huge, explosive fight. I think you're just annoyed when people are asking for too much. When people are clingy, you're like, I'm busy doing my own thing. Keep your problems for yourself. I have so much on my plate. With the Seven of Pentacles, you're definitely waiting for something. With the Strength card, if you have some Leo in your chart, maybe a Moon in Leo, Rising Leo, any Leo in your chart, I think that this is important. I don't know why I'm feeling this right now. Someone with a Leo Moon. Um... With the strength card, it's like you need a lot of self-control right now. You're like, you're almost, no, I don't want to say depleted of energy, but it's like someone is squeezing, squeezing all the energy out of you. And you're like, okay, I'm barely making it. I need some sleep. Maybe you've been losing some sleep because when you try to fall asleep at night, there's, you know, your brain is moving 100 miles an hour. Um... I love that. Leo is the heart space. This thing, it feels so intense because it's in your heart space. It's something that you really care for. It could be about a relationship, my love, but I do feel like it's about your stability. This looks like someone is going to be literally moving somewhere far, buying their first house, buying a new house, uh, changing their job going back to school after a long period there's something like really intense um and i don't think it's a surprise i i really feel like i'm connecting with someone who knows exactly what i'm talking about you're like yeah the universe need to cut me some fucking slack right now because i don't even know how i'm gonna make it <laughs> to this new beginning i'm so exhausted if it's not your story don't make it fit good for you if this is not your story uh, move on to another reading. But if you feel like this is your reading, I just want to say I definitely feel you. I definitely feel someone who's losing sleep in their brain moving 100 miles an hour. I don't feel like you... There's any way to explain how overwhelmed you are with this. Again, it's all for the better. It's just hard to see that right now. Let's take another deck and I want to look at what's going to be happening after this period of transition. I want to focus on this new start, okay? 
when we finally go through the in-between period and we're there, we're at the new beginning, what's going to happen? How does it feel? Tell me about this new beginning for Virgo. Tell me about this new beginning for Virgo. We have the Ten of Swords. Okay, releasing, let it go, closing door. Um, I feel like this transition is going to be a good way for you to let the people who aren't serving you in the past. You're going to be making a huge cleanup in your life. Uh, maybe there's some people that you feel like, you know, you're not necessarily telling them how you feel because you don't want to hurt their feelings or you're like, I don't even want to waste my time. I'm going to be somewhere else in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be in this new thing. So moving out of this era, again, it's really specific, the moving out of the era. Ten of Swords is like, all the stress, all the mental stress that could even bring physical pain, you know, lack of sleep, uh, your body hurting, having some migraines, uh, it's ending, it's ending, you're gonna have this release, physical, mental, okay, I like that, closing the door on something, on many things, it's not just one thing, it's, this message is so particular, and I know that there's going to be definitely one person reaching out and being like, that was my reading because I connect with someone's energy right now. And as much as I feel exhausted, I can't stop smiling. This is like the most intense time in your life, but actually the most beautiful. I, I, it's like I can't stop smiling, but I'm exhausted. This is this is intense energy. Um, I'm going to go for a walk after that, definitely. Tell me more about this new beginning for Virgo. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Debt card. This is the energy I've been channeling this whole reading. We are in Virgo season right now. For, uh, uh, sorry, in Scorpio season, my love. Scorpio season is about transformation, debt, letting go. It's not easy. It makes us feel fucked up completely. But it's great. It's literally a gift. It feels like a gift. It's going to be feeling like a gift when you get there. Um, I like that. I'm really happy to see it here. So this confirms that Virgo season is... I don't know why I'm seeing Virgo season. Scorpio season is going to be the end of something big for you. The end of an era. The end of an era. Three cards wanted to come out. The hangman in the reverse again. So there's an important message here on top of the hangman in the reverse. So the wait is over for you. The wait is over. We're moving out of the seven of pentacle energy of just waiting, waiting, waiting all the time. The star and the page of wands. So with that new beginning comes a lot of healing, comes a lot of changing, freedom, liberation, hoping. And for some reason with the page of wands, this tells me that there's a lot of beautiful things that's going to be happening. This thing, this new beginning is just the tip of the iceberg. It's like there's so many little projects attached to this. Look at the page, how he looks at the wand. He's like, oh my God, this is just a piece of wood, but there's so many things I can do with it. I think that you're really inspired by this thing that you're getting. Definitely. If you are an artist in any shape or form, if you're an artist, you're going to be inspired to create some art because of this specific thing that you're getting. Um, you're going to have also, you're going to be able to know for sure who's the real deal in your life, who's there for you, who is happy for you. And who will move with you in this new era, no matter what. The ride or die type of friends, family member, partners. Uh, this is it. That's why I feel like there's a huge cleanup happening. You're going to be letting go of a lot of freaking toxic energy. A lot of random friends. It's like a new step in your life. I don't know if you just turned 30, if you just turned 40, 20. There's like this... 
important time of your life, this important transition. And it's not everybody who's coming with you in this new life. It's not everybody. It's actually just a portion, just a little part. And it feels good. I don't think you're stressed or mad about it. You're like, fuck yeah, I'm done. Bye. And we have the justice to end this reading. So finding balance. After you had to deal with a lot of paperwork, a lot of necessary things, um, I feel like I'm connecting with a Virgo who has a great partner in their life. Maybe you're married. Maybe you are in a committed relationship. If not, I think that this is something that will definitely happen in the near future for you. You're not alone in that transition. And I know that it might not be something that you tell yourself to feel more comfortable or happier or just better or more comfortable, but there's people there for you. People actually care. Uh, the justice to me actually confirms what I was saying. The people who aren't serving you, they're staying in this past era. This new transition is like starting fresh, starting from the ground up. It brings a lot of healing. It brings a lot of new possibilities. But right now, the in-between period is incredibly uncomfortable. Probably one of the most stressful times, most uncomfortable time of your life. The person I'm connecting with, the people, the energies I'm connecting with. So... This, when you go through it, the liberating energy, the freedom, the happiness, it's going to be like never before. This was necessary. This is necessary. You might still be in that period. Remember, this feeling that hurts right now, that it is overwhelming you, is grief. So remember, there's going to be a lot of stage to death. There's going to be a lot of work to do on your side when it comes to having self-control, nourishing your body, your mind, soul in the best way you can, trying to not let the brain and the ego take over, uh, but actually do things from a place of heart and knowing that this is just a transition. This is not it. You're going to be feeling so great in a couple weeks and I'm again I can't stop smiling this is going to be one of the best times of your life this is one of the biggest accomplishments something that in 20 years 30 years you're going to be looking back at this and you're going to be like this is the best move I've ever done this is one of the best decision I've ever made okay Virgo I love you I don't know who I'm connecting with I just want to say I wish I could hug you right now um and this reading is not going to be for everyone. I'm aware of that, but it had to come out. There's actually a lot of really important messages here. So sending all my love. I can't wait to speak with you again, Virgo. Until next time, take exquisite care of yourself. Okay, bye-bye.